But at the moment, it's like um, Heathrow Airport, and there's a traffic management system going on, and they're all a bit confused. There's a lot hovering out the front, and all they really want to do is go home. So, this one came from the edge. You see, they're naturally clustering in a lot to keep, to keep warm. Any questions? Buzz. Buzz does, yes she does, but what do you do? The queen is bigger than the others, are they? Yes, she's about twice the size, well, twice the length. She's fat. And she can't fly, normally, when she's laying eggs. Um, but they'll, she's fed by, by a certain cohort of young bees of a certain age. And how and, um, do they choose them? By age. So ev everything's done by age. So when the bees are very young and they can't fly yet, they do du duties in the hive. So bees coming in from, from the field will give their honey to nurse to young bees who can't fly and, and, and the flies will go straight back out and do more work. They hand over the honey they've just gathered to young bees that are in the hive. For them to process. So when bees first go out, the first couple of days or so, they go out gathering water, and then once they get more experience, and then and they know where they're going, and they've been told, and they've learned the bee dance, and they've discovered things. The bee they, dance is like when they visit that one fight, you know. That's right. Yeah, but they take time to learn that, and so once they've learned that location, then then they'll start to become honey gatherers or nectar gatherers, I should say, and go on to those duties. So they they need a continual supply of young bees of new growth. Gently, Jamie. If they, if they don't have that, then there's no young bees to feed the queen and there's no young bees to no. process the honey and they all have to start doing everyone else's job. Hello. So they're very well organised. It's kind of stinky, isn't it? Just be very well, still. Well, they stay in it, that this queen bee now. Yeah. She'll go off. The queen bee never leaves the hive in her whole life unless she goes to swarm or be mated. So she never flies anywhere. Yeah, drones, drones are allowed to go between colonies, these worker bees aren't. The drones go to different colonies because uh, otherwise the daughters will be mating with the brothers. So to get the gene stock varying between stocks, the drones go off and set up shop in another colony and when, if they're used to mate the queen, then you get cross fertilisation of different gene sets between colonies and you get natural selection and that sort of thing happening. We don't actually know. No, they, they, these drones can mate with their own progeny, but um, it's not the way nature organises things. Have you got, got the sex on your life hand? of bees is quite com complex. Yes, have you got sure. one on your hand? There's one on your hand. I know. Is there one on your hand? Huh? He just, I wouldn't recommend he stays there. Is he still in here? No. No? Okay. You can film him. I did? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend he stays there forever because um, it's just... That's it. Off you go. So he, he came over and had a chat? Yes. Took your body scent and... Um, he said thank you for... Yep. Making people aware right. how important we are. Okay, Thank can you, can you, can you see the movement? If you uh, film in down here, they've organised themselves to draw all the waste and strays home. Because we've disturbed the whole flight pattern and they're confused, you'll see they're walking up. The ones which are walking in are walking up because the queen scent's been blown out and they, they're all static, bums in the air, wings going, and they're drawing the hive scent out because bees t tend to find the last couple of feet home via scent. They can navigate for miles, but when they come home, they they rely upon scent. And actually, at the destination where the nectar flow is, they're probably they may even have the intelligence to be told the smell of a flower. So then, when they get to the destination, they're looking for a plant with the right scent on it. They definitely use scent to to to, to get in. Happy days with the bee. Yeah, and they've all concentrated on one end, not and they've left the other end because honey's being manufactured at the moment. They're dehydrating it. They're getting the water out, it's getting a bit complex now, but the water's being 
draw, uh, fresh air is being drawn at this end and stale air, smelly What's air, this guy doing damp air is being drawn out the other. What is this guy doing with my hand? I'm so sorry. <laughs>